Hey, you folks. It's Tuesday night. And we're getting ready for new comic book day at Green Brain Comics. And this is Stream Brain Comics, your live preview of all the brand new comics and graphic novels available to you tomorrow morning, Wednesday, December 12th at Green Brain Comics. <laughs> Every week is a hoedown here in preparation for New Comic Day. Wednesday, December 12, 2018. Woo! Woo! We're only two weeks out until Christmas. Ah! Ah! <laughs> Don't think about Christmas. Think about new comics. Yay! Yay. <laughs> or you could think about new comics as Christmas gifts to yourself or to a loved one. Ah, that sounds cute. <laughs> Before we get started on the new comics, let's see what kind of stuff we got. We got oh look, we, we got, got some variants. We got variants. Oh. Well, we got some variant stuffs. We've got a new Spider-Man Miles Morales number one. Ooh, Ooh I think nice. that's a one in fifty. Beautiful. Very nice. Uncanny X-Men number five. Shane Davis. Peter Parker, the spectacular Spider-Man. Ooh. Not sure who did the art on that. They call that the video game variant. Oh, it looks great. And Miles Morales Spider-Man number one. Nice. That's cool. Good. They look great. We've also got a selection of really cool art books and graphic novels and games set up here for your shopping pleasure. Getting or ready. your quick gift ideas. Yeah. You need something quick? We got them. You, need, you got a gamer on your list? We got a game. You got a Marvel fan on your list? We got a book for you. Mm -hmm. we got, you got a superhero fan? We got a book. Fantastic Four, we got it. Just ask us for recommendations. We'll be so happy to help you find a perfect gift for everyone on your Christmas list. Oh, yeah. All right. This year. And every year. And any gift. So that's all the little stuff that we got for oh. a new comic book day. Can now let's get, get to the stuff? big stuff. We you got get, like, new, comics. new comics! New comics! New While we're walking over, just want to say hello to <laughs> Philip Little. And also to Sharita Jackson. Hey, everybody. Hey, Sharita. Here's the DC books. <laughs> we got Batman Annual number three. Does it just have one cover? Yeah. Yep. We got Detective Comics number 994. Countdown to 1,000. Look how soon it is, folks. What did we decide it was going to be? March? March. Indeed. It's March, because we'll get two in December, two in January, two in February, and then one in March. And this is also featuring a brand new story with a brand new creative team. Peter Tomasi and oh. Doug Monkey are doing the, the work here. <gasps> Doug Monkey? Yeah. From it, The Mask? Yeah. <laughs> and also, that's old school, folks. Oh, yeah, which is it's really sad. Oh. oh. Sad. Man, what do sad. you think, folks? Which one's better? Regular cover or the LTD? It's sad. It's sad. <laughs> Moving on. Well, before we move on, I wanted to mention that the countdown is happening in March, and they announced that there's going to be a midnight release, similar to the action midnight release. Right? Correct? I believe they're gearing up for that. I'm not sure it's been announced yet. Ooh, well, if it's just in the talks and it hasn't been announced, we still have time to decide... Let us know if you'd be interested in another midnight release. For Woo! Sure. Woo! The action midnight release went like super hot and people had a super good time. We had a cake. <laughs> Everybody loves cake. Yay. And that was fun. So mm -hmm. uh, let us know if you want to come to a midnight release again. <gasps> also, pow, look at this big number one that we got in this week. The Batman Who Laughs from the pages of Dark Knight's Metal. Miss me? He is super creepy. Yeah, this is by creative team Scott Snyder and Jock with a variant cover by Greg Pulo, the artist from Dark Knight's Metal. Ooh. Metal. 
Uh, Electric Warriors, number two of six. But we, before we get too far away from the Batmans... Whoa, Batman Damned, number two from oh. Brian as a... Oh! Okay. Well, I was doing Batmans, but yeah. Sorry, whoops. Sorry, folks. Animal Man by Grant Morrison's 30th Anniversary Deluxe Edition, book one. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> Technically, this book started... Oh, it did start in 1988, I was going to say. I was still at the old, old, old place when it started. But yes, 30 years ago, Animal Man by Grant Morrison launched in 1988. And it, uh, it hooked me on comics forever. That was one of the first things that I was reading in comics. All these classics coming back around, making me feel all nostalgic. Speaking of nostalgia, remember so way back when they put out Batman Damn number one? Wow. <gasps> Look, here's that? number two. Yeah. Number two. We got number two. And Batman is much more clothed in this issue. <laughs> that you know of. Oh. Nice covers. Oh, That's yeah. uh, Jim Lee out in front there with uh, series artist Lee Bermejo on the Harley Quinn cover there. Very nice. nice. Very cool. Uh, also, our pal Paul Sizer asks if he can wear his jammies to a midnight comic release party. Yes. Yeah. Of course you can. As long as they're your Batman pajamas. <laughs> <laughs> the Flash, Volume 8. Flash War. Flash War. The Flash, Number 60. And check out this cool LTD cover. What? So nice. Look at it. New cover artist Dennis Chu did that. Oh, wow. Very right? shiny. Looks awesome. Hawkman, number seven. All my pasts remembered. Ooh, that's cool. Nothing like a skeleton with a sword. Very cool. Except for a dancing skeleton. That's the only thing better than a skeleton with a sword. <laughs> Harley Loves Joker by Paul Dini. Aww. Uh, Hardcover. Hardcover. Okay. Justice League Dark, number six, by Blue Devil's X. Detective Chimp must die. No, not Detective Ooh. Chimp. And a Ooh. B cover by Clayton Crane. That's pretty. Very pretty. Look yeah. at uh, uh, Swamp, Thing. Swamp Thing. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, nope, don't call me a thing. It's not me a thing. It's Swamp Thing. <laughs> also, just a note, Blue Devil, created by our pal, Dan Mishkin. <gasps> nice. Mm. Yeah, but... Not Detective Chimp. Poor Detective Chimp. He'll he'll be all right. He'll be fine. He'll get better. Ooh, a new tale showcase for 2018, featuring artists and writers of the DC Talent Development Workshops. Check out this: the Rising Stars of DC. Sideways number 11. Scully. Suicide Squad number 49 with Rick Flag. And a beautiful. Matina cover. Oh, Ooh. everybody loves those Matina covers. Are you a Matina cover fan? Let us know in the comments. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Supergirl number 25. Who weeps for crypto? Not me. It's an exercise anniversary issue. Not you. Not me. I'm not weeping for Shane, crypto. Shane, not a fan of crypto. <laughs> Aww. Aww. But are you a fan of crypto? Yes, I love crypto to super dog. The super cute puppers. Look at the puppers. Superman number six. Also a cover by Adam Hughes. Nice. He's cool. got stars all over him. I like his hair. It's all... It's swoopy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Bloop. Titans number 31. No. Nope. cover on that. Oh. Well, I don't recognize that. Mmm. It's nice. Very nice. Wonder Woman number 60. And do we get it? Yes. Another yeah. beautiful Jenny Frizzit cover. So beautiful. And Scooby Apocalypse number 32. Also with a B cover. Boop. Ooh. <laughs> Plus an all new Adam Ant adventure. Oh. oh. Oh, also on the top shelf Superman First Thunder Shazam! The Deluxe Edition. With art by Joshua Middleton? Yep, and <gasps> written by our old pal Judd Winnick. Wow. Oh. Amazing. That's interesting. Hardcover. Also, wrapping up our DC shelf. 
The Golden Age of Wonder Woman, Volume 2, with Cheetah. <laughs> Spectacular Michael Cho cover. Before we switch over to the Marvel shelf, I just want to say hey to David Brown Jr. Hello. Hey, David Brown Jr. Hey, David. And uh, he's asking for uh, two covers of Batman Who Laughs. Hey, we can do that. We can do oh, it. Yeah. Do you want one of each? I think that's what he's hinting at. We can do that for sure. Give us a thumbs up. And chop, chop. One of each. <laughs> <laughs> now let's move on to the Marvel shelf. Here's the Marvel comics. Here's Shay. And now we've got As Guardians of the Galaxy number four, as well as Avengers number 11. Just a hint, the War of the Realms is coming in four months. Uh oh, the countdown is on. That's a long time. The War of these two kissing Look is about to happen. He's looking all dreamy. <laughs> He's like, oh, baby. Also, we have Black Order number two of five. Black Panther, number seven. Champions, number 27. And on the top shelf, we have Cloak and Dagger, Shades of Grey, a Marvel premiere graphic novel. We finally get some new Cloak and Dagger. Yay. Hooray. They've only been on TV for like six months. Also, we have Defenders, Doctor Strange, number uh, one. Number one, yeah. <laughs> also, we got Fantastic Four, Wedding Special, number one. Oh, someone's getting married. <laughs> married. <laughs> this has got all kinds of creators on it, including Dan Slott, Gail Simone, and Fred Hembeck. Yay! With the curly knees. Continuing, we have Infinity Warp's Ghost Panther, number two of two. Continuing and wrapping up. Sleepwalker, also continuing and wrapping up. Number four, Infinity Warp's Mr. and Mrs. X, number six. As well as Spider Force, number three. And on the top shelf, we've got True Believers, Fantastic Four. Have we got a treat for you, Dragon Man? <laughs> Fantastic Four and the Molecule Man. Also, Fantastic Four and the all-powerful Super Scroll. Scrolls are bad. Super Scrolls are super bad. Oh, no. Also, we have Spider Girls, number three of three, wrapping up. Spider Gwen, Ghost Spider, number three. The Amazing Spider-Man, number 11. Can you do your J. Jonah Jameson? Every morning from 6 to 11 a.m. Ah, get to work! Get to work! <laughs> Spider Geddon! Peter Parker, the Spectacular Spider Man, number 313. 313! <gasps> it's a Detroit issue! <laughs> it's all Detroit issue. Probably not, but wouldn't that be cool? <laughs> New number one, Miles Morales, Spider Man, he's back! New creative team, new direction, your new favorite book. So much spider this week. Yay, spider. It's a spider party. Look at all these spider books. And also... <gasps> Tony Stark Iron Man. Of oh, Tony Stark Iron Man. Yeah. Number four. And let's not forget... Epic Collection of the Punisher, Circle of Blood, and Marvel Knights Punisher, the Complete Collection, Volume 1. Featuring some classic material from Garth Ennis and Steve Dillon. Yeah. R.I.P. The oh. Unbeatable Squirrel Girl number 39, Where's Tony? Oh, it's like a Where's Waldo. The Unstoppable Wasp number 3. Weapon X number 27. Uh-oh, like he's, he's unraveling. Yeah, he's coming apart. <laughs> Who knew? He was just made of twine this whole time. <laughs> X-23 number 7. Uncanny X-Man, number five. Lots of kissing this issue. Uh oh, Ooh, X-Men Red, number 11, with a beautiful Ginny Frizen cover. This is the final issue. Oh. Before they do an end cap wrap up one shot thing. Wow. Uh, also, uh, trailing off. On our top <laughs> shelf, <laughs> Defenders the Silver Surfer, number one. Look how silver and shiny he is. So shiny. <laughs> so silver. And surfy. <laughs> so surfy. Typhoid Fever Iron Fist, number one. And that wraps up our Marvel shelf this week. Burp, 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 burp. Apparently trumpets just make the burp sound. Trumpets. <laughs> That's the best sound. Well, it's better than... 
Oh, that's sad trombone. Sad trombone. Here's what we got coming out from Star Wars. Star Wars Volume 9. Hope dies. Oh, no. Oh, I really like Hope. I hope she's going to be okay. <laughs> Star Wars Age of Republic Darth Maul number one. What? Oh, this has very new edition. Do we have a different cover? Oh, Darth Maul and his stabby stick. It's his sword. swishy light sword. <laughs> Swishy light sword. <laughs> Star Wars Doctor Afra number twenty-seven. Oh my hand! Oh no! Oh no! Long live the king! <laughs> oh, oh! 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 Star Wars Han Solo Imperial Cadet with a cover by David Nakayama. I've been really enjoying his covers. They're All super right. awesome. Look how realistic these hands look. First, I was like, "What's happening with his eyes?" Then I realized he's looking over here. I thought he was like cross-eyed. <laughs> It's giving you the side eye. Yeah, like that's some serious side eye there. Hey, we're getting the side eye from Leroy Taylor. Hey, Leroy. Hey, hey Leroy. Leroy. And on to our YA shelf, Auntie Agatha's Home for Wayward Rabbits, number two of six. Battlestar Galactica, number two. Got a B cover for that. Ooh. Whoa. 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 That's cool. Fancy. It's only three hundred and ninety nine cents, y'all. <laughs> Buffy the Reckoning. This is wrapping up the long running storyline at Dark Horse that continued the series from the TV. Oh. The TV series, we'll call it. How about that? Giant Days, volume. It's early registration. Oh. And written and illustrated by John Allison. Oh. Awesome. So is this like first in trade? Like all original trade? Yeah, I think this was digital original. first stuff. Ah. Wonder Bob. Jingle Bell. She's back. One shot. The home homemaid's tale. <laughs> ah. Created by Paul by Dini. Paul Dini. Hooray. Just in time for the holidays. Paul Dini, the creator of Harley Quinn. Right. Oh. Ha-ha. Ah. Oh, oh. Way back in the day, twenty low 25 years ago, when she was a little bit different. Smooth Criminals, number two. Star Trek Waypoint. Special, number one. Ta-da. All right. That wraps up our YA periodical shelf. And on our tween shelf, we have Hexbet, which is in training. Look how cute this art is. I love this book already, and I haven't even read it. <laughs> also, we have Malawi, Volume 2, Fashion Club of Colors. As well as Splatoon, Volume 5, the manga. Man, this thing's been blowing up recently. It's hard to get this, Boy, hard to keep one. these things in stock. <laughs> We're going to get them back in, we promise. Kids are crazy about the Splatoon. Splatoon. And on our all ages shelf, we have Pokemon, <gasps> the movie, I Choose You. As well as a grumpy cat little golden book favorites, three books in one. <gasps> this is Tam's pick of the week. Yay. Also, we have Superhero Save, please. Oh, is that a board book? Yes. Oh, for is. the very young readers. Wonderful. Just in time for the holiday. And just in time, Philip Little says, Hola, Sir Dan the Valiant Aww. and Shady. Well, hello. Shady. Philip, yeah. <laughs> that's, that's his name for the two of you. Yeah, we're a duo. <laughs> and, uh, and Kevin Kyer, who I uh, don't recognize that name, but hey, Kevin. Hello, hey, Kevin. Kevin. Welcome. Yeah, thanks for watching. Welcome. Kevin says, I remember when comics were 25 cents. Whoa. And then, I'm old. Well, Kevin, you're in good company. I remember way back then, too. I remember when comics were a dollar, and I made three dollars an hour. <laughs> uh -huh. I have time change. <laughs> I could buy three comics. <laughs> We've got just a few more comics on this side. Let's check them out. We've got All Ages Disney Comics and Stories number two. As well as Mickey and Donald Christmas Parade number four and Minions Viva La Boss number two. Man, these million, Minions are still super popular. We sold out of those right away last time. Yay, Minions! 
Kids are crazy about the menu. <laughs> that wraps up this side of our store while we transition over to the action adventure periodicals. We're going to go on over to our event board and let you know about all the cool events happening at Green Bay Comics! Woo! Our next big event coming up is our Brain Candy Festival. We hold this once a month, always on the third Monday of the month. Oh. This month is going to be December 17th from 7 to 9 p.m. This is a free event where we have live art, music, poetry reading, prose reading. It's a really cool multimedia event. It's free. Come and see some fresh talent and show some support and just come out for a fun night out. We've got an incredible list of creators and performers this time around, including our own pals, Tara Kurtzel. Oh, yeah. Yes, the artists. We have two artists coming in, and they are both uh, comic artists, and it's Tara Kurtzel and, and Sarah Bollinger. Sarah Bollinger. Oh, yeah. And they're going to be showing off their artwork. Yay. Right on. Um, Monday. Hooray! And just to update you on our holiday schedule, we will be open on Christmas Eve from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. That is Monday, December 24th. Of course, we will be closed on Christmas Day to enjoy the day with our family, and you should too, unless you don't want to. Don't ha you don't have to. Go eat some Chinese food. <laughs> have a good time. Uh, and then, just to let everybody know that there will be no delays for the comic shipment that week, and we will have new comics on Wednesday, December 26th. Hooray! Yay. Nobody's gonna bully Rudolph into getting the new comics here on time. <laughs> <laughs> but there is still time to get in your last minute gift shopping. And support Shop Small. Speaking Thanks. of gift shopping, oh. look, on a budget, we've got all these awesome clearance graphic novels. 40, 60 to 80 percent off. Wow! Holy smokes! All right, Katie, stop straightening up the shelves. we got a show to do here. Oh, well, you know. And on our action-adventure shelf, we've got William Gibson's Alien 3, number two. Uh, uh, other cool cover there. Ooh. Whoa, and trailly. Gross robot intestines. I personally like this one a little bit better, but that's just my personal opinion. What do you think? What? <laughs> Bitterroot number two. I love Bitterroot. It's so good. And look at all these covers that we got. Holy moly. Where's the original? There is no original. And that's <laughs> okay. Covers. All the originals got... Absorbed by subs. Absorbed by the subs. <laughs> but there oh. was a really nice Bill Sienkiewicz cover there. We also have Black Hammer Cthulhu Weez. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually really excited to check this out. Awesome. By uh, artist of Plutona, Emmy Lennox. Yay! Yeah. And also featuring a B cover by Jill, Jill Thompson. Thompson. Oh, yeah. Of course. Look how pretty. I love it. I love both of these covers. They're awesome. Also, we have Ooh. Britannia Lost Eagles of Rome, Volume 3. <laughs> Captain Ginger, Number 3. It's a book about cats in space. Cats in space. <laughs> Cemetery Beach, number four of seven. That's a cool homage cover there. It's like a Batman, right? Animated Adventures? Yes. yes. Uh -huh. <laughs> nice. Also, we have Dead Kings, number two. And on our top shelf, ooh, we have Blackwood collected trade paperback. Written by Kennedy. Evan Dorkin. That's so nice. Hey, while we're transitioning over, I just want to say hello to Eddie. Hey, Eddie. Hey, Eddie. Hey, Eddie. Also, we have the Empty Man number two. Ooh. Ooh both of those covers. Are, uh, what are these? I don't want to know. <laughs> Meat babies. Are they entrail people? <laughs> what? They're really creepy. Meat babies. <laughs> Fearscape number three. Also, we have... Alan Moore's From Hell Master Edition, fully colorized. Number two, part two, blackmail or Mrs. Barry. God of War, number two. That's a cool cover. I like it. Ooh, a new number one from Vertigo, Goddess Mode. And this is by the uh, artist of the original Spider Gwen, right? Robbie Rodriguez. Hmm. Mm. 
Headlopper number yes! 10 in the Knights of Venora, volume 3, 2 of 4. Ooh, we got a cool B cover on that one. Oh. Ooh. Nice. Who's this one by? Didn't recognize the artist's name, but it's pretty cool. It is super pretty. Super metal and brutal. Metal and brutal. We've got Hellboy Winter Special 2018. Got a couple cool covers on that. Oh, we got the yeah. Mike Mignola. Gabriel Ba and B -B Fabio Moon. Oh, it's so pretty! I love them. I like I like both of these. These are cool. Aren't, don't they work on a series together? Yeah, they're both on this book. Awesome. And they're both artists on Umbrella Academy. Yeah. Yeah, they've worked on a lot of collaborative projects in the past. Awesome. <clears throat> We've got Howard Shakin's Hey Kids comics, despite the title, not for kids. Number five of five, wrapping up. Hillbilly, Volume 3, by Eric Powell, on our top shelf. Ooh, we have Volume 4 of Fear Agent, by Rick Remender. I think this wraps up all of the Fear Angel, the Fear Agent material in the fourth volume, and this is collecting all the single issues of the anthology series, Tales of the Fear Agent, oh. including a bunch of really big talent that just started cutting their teeth in the industry way back then. Including ah. Francisco Francavilla. Nice. Wow. We have Hit Girl number 11, Rome part 3 of 4. Also, we have Sandman Universe House of Whispers number 4. I like this cover. It's oh, awesome. it's Goldie. Aww. It's got Kirby dots all over it. Kirby dots. <laughs> Ice Cream Man volume 2. Creepy. Infinite Dark number 3. James Bond Origin, number four. Joe Gollum, Occult Detective, number four of five, The Drowning City. Life is Strange, we got second printing of number one back in for you guys that miss it the first time. Lone Ranger, number three. The Hero Denied, Mage, 14 of 15. Whoa, it's oh, almost done. Oh, you left. <laughs> Also, we have Magic Order number five of six. That doesn't look great. <laughs> and that's cool. Awesome. These covers are awesome. We have Magic the Gathering. Chandra. Ooh, look at all that fire. See, we do carry Magic the Gathering. <laughs> <laughs> Comics. In comic form. In comic form. <laughs> and then one trade up on our top shelf. Holliston Carnival of Carnage. Ooh. Graphic novel, trade paperback. Right. Back down, we have Mega Ghost, number one. And, oh, it's Murder <gasps> Falcon, number Murder three. Falcon. Oh, check out the B cover on this, it's so metal. I heard this book is really cool. Whoa, Whoa, that's amazing. That's awesome. So metal. This book is ridiculous. <laughs> Mystery Science Theater 3000, number three. Also ridiculous. Oblivion Song, number 10. Outer Darkness, number 2. I really enjoyed number 1. You guys should check it out if you like space. Who doesn't like space? <laughs> Planet of the Apes, The Simian Age, number 1. As well as The Quantum Age, number 5, from the world of Black Hammer. Look, he's got a green brain. <gasps> ha Red Sonia Holiday Special. Just in time for the holidays. As well as Red Sonia and Tarzan number six. Their logo is red and green, just in time for the holidays. <laughs> we have Scarlet, volume two, book two. Shadow Man number ten. There's a really Stay cool valiant. cover on this one. Stay valiant! Look at that. Cool. Very cool. And let's not forget we have Skyward number nine. Hooray! Funny, fun I'm book. Skyward. Really enjoying this book. Up on top. Whoa, backing up. Back. Without making everybody dizzy, we got Mickey Spillane's Mike Hammer trade paperback. Cool. Predator, The Essential Comics, Volume 1. <gasps> and oh. another 30th anniversary book, Neil Gaiman's The Sandman, Volume 3, with a new amazing cover look at this beautiful cover also oh. paul dini oh nice this looks like lion cat a little bit <laughs> it does. 
Yes, so good. So Back beautiful. down. We've got Sleepless number 10. Yes, so good, so beautiful. Spawn kills everyone, too. Part one. So four. cute and bloody. Vampirella versus Reanimator number one. <laughs> Vampironica number five. Wrapping up the first arc for this series. And last but not least on our action adventure show, we have War Bears number three of three. Wrapping up. All right. Yay. A lot of great action adventure comics. That wraps up our action adventure comics. <laughs> now I'm going to bring you over here to the indie graphic novels. Try, try and say this one. <laughs> Dang and Ronpa. Sure, first yeah, try, close. you did it. <laughs> Two, ultimate luck and hope and despair. Except for this is one. This, oh, it's this is two <laughs> volume. I see. <laughs> Derp. Uh, Flutter collection. The Flutter collection. More Kirby dots. From Jenny Wood. I moved to Los Angeles to work in animation, just like everybody else. That. Wants to make it big in animation. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, from Natalie Nuragat. Hey, we got the new Mine Shaft, number 36. Check it out. Always a beautiful crumb cover. And look at all these amazing creators that have contributed to this book. Some of this, some of these I have even met. Some of these <laughs> people I have even met. <laughs> burp, burp. Stolen Sharpie Revolution, a DIY resource for zines and zine culture. Lane recommends. Oh, who's this Lane guy? Is he into zines? Yeah. Are zines still like a thing? Lane the Zeman. The Prog Coop. The, or the Pragu Coop. Pragu Coop. <laughs> Sons of El Topo, Volume 1 by Jorowski and Ladron. <laughs> Very French. Yodorowski. Good one. Yeah, there you go. There way, you to, go. way to save. Jessica Abel's Trish Trash, Volume 3, Roller Girl of Mars. This book's been nominated for two Eisner Awards. Yes. And wrapping up our new releases this week. Cartoons Magazine number 18. Hey, is that Rat Fink? With it's a so crazy totally Rat, Fink. Rat Fink cover. <laughs> Look at him. His eyes are popping out and everything. <laughs> hey, I forgot. It's alright, we can wing it. Yeah, sure. Let's, let's, do let's see. Let's do it. Alright. So, thanks everybody for watching. And please tune in every Tuesday at 6.30 on Facebook or watch later on our YouTube channel. You can keep up on all of our social medias. We are Green Brain Comics on Facebook, Tumblr, and Instagram. But on Twitter, we're Green Brain CMX. X, yeah. Um. Hey. Hey. Subscribe <laughs> to our YouTube channel. Because we're trying to hit 100 subscribers by the end of the year, and we're so very close. Ooh. Please make our Christmas wishes come true by subscribing. Yay. And that way you'll get notified. Also hit that little bell thing. So you get notified, and you never miss an episode of our crazy Stream Brain Comics adventure. And we are always spreading the love of comic books and graphic novels in East Downtown Dearborn in the heart since 1985. <laughs> Feed, Feed your brain at Green Brain Comics. <laughs> Thanks for Thanks watching. Everybody. Happy Wednesday. Bye. Happy Wednesday. <laughs> <laughs> hey, David Moore just signed on. Hey, hey David, David Moore. Moore. <laughs> you you can, made you it. You should tune back in and watch us from the beginning. <laughs> <laughs> and we're done.